the society person. Who is he? What does he do? What does he walk with? Well, we know that he walks with the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today, but what does he walk in? The society person walks in all that Jesus bought and paid for. That's what they walk with the Holy Ghost in. The society person receives and walks in everything that Jesus bought and paid for through his substitutionary sacrifice. He was the substitute for you. He bore your poverty. He bore your sin. He bore your sickness so that you could walk in his righteousness, in his wealth, and in his health. Isn't that great? That's what the Holy Ghost person walks in. That's what the society person walks in. So it's our job as society people to receive. To first of all know what it is that Jesus bought and paid for. Then receive everything Jesus bought and paid for. So we can walk in Jesus' name with the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost helps to bring that to pass. The Holy Ghost is the one who reveals that to you, instructs you in all of those Jesus, things. Jesus, when he was on the cross, he said, it is finished. What was finished? What he bought and paid for, for you. What he finished was the substitutionary sacrifice for you. Meaning, your sin was paid for, your poverty was paid for, your sickness was paid for. And now, you get to fulfill it. You get to walk in everything that Jesus paid for. Let's look down here at Matthew chapter 6. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. So how did Jesus tell his disciples to pray? They were supposed to pray that God's will would be done on earth as it is in heaven. You know, and even most good Christians would know that when I get to heaven, what's it going to be like? It's going to be, I'm not going to have any sickness. I'm not going to have any poverty. I'm certainly not going to have any sin because there's no sin in heaven. What paid the price for you to get there? What paid the price for you to get there was receiving and walking in everything that Jesus bought and paid for you. But the only way you could actually go to heaven and, and and live there is because it was bought and paid for it was finished on the earth so that means you legally have the right to all of those things that are in heaven now they're in heaven now your healing your your prosperity your deliverance all that stuff's in heaven now you legally have the right to walk in it right now because it's already bought and paid for and he says to pray his will on the earth as it is in heaven so that means we're supposed to be believing God for and walking in all of those things which most Christians will put it off to heaven but a society person cannot a society person knows that by walking with the Holy Ghost he's walking in all that Jesus bought and paid for which results in heaven but it include that's just including it it's the exact same thing because we're supposed to be walking with the Holy Ghost as in heaven on earth as it is in heaven if there's healing in heaven the price paid for it had to be paid for before you get there the price is already paid one of the things that Jesus bought and paid for was your healing Jesus bought and paid for my healing when I get to heaven no obviously I'll be healed when I get to heaven. but he already bought and paid for it and I get to walk in it now and therefore I pray God's will on earth as it is in heaven on earth who's on earth you're on earth I hope you're on earth who else is on earth the Holy Ghost is on earth he's God in the earth today you walk with him in what Jesus bought and paid for one of the one of which is healing and health Matthew chapter 8 and verse 17 that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying himself took our infirmities and bear our sicknesses Jesus took the infirmities Jesus took the sicknesses well we have another verse of scripture I'm not going to turn over there it says by his stripes you were healed all manner of sickness all manner of disease it is part of what we get to walk in thank God when you get to heaven are you gonna have some kind of sickness that remains no you when you get to heaven you have no sickness and no disease and so Jesus had to pay for all sickness and all disease to be healed my point is that he bought and paid for all of that and we are to believe and pray for God's will on this earth as it is in heaven that means 
no sickness no disease ask yourself the question did Jesus pay for your specific illness the answer is undoubtedly yes otherwise you have to take it with you when you go to heaven Jesus already took it and if he already took it what are you doing with it you have a responsibility to rebuke that thing in Jesus name and to get it off of you and to believe God and walk with the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today in everything that Jesus bought and paid for forget not any of all his benefits I mean I use that illustration a lot with with uh, thinking about heaven because almost everybody understands that when they get to heaven they're, they're gonna be well off when they get to heaven they're gonna have uh, no sickness and no disease and when you get to heaven there's not gonna be any sin so that gives you a base point of understanding what Jesus actually bought and paid for but frankly it's a cop-out if you just say okay well that's what it's gonna be on the other side no that's what has already been paid for that's what's already finished now we get to please God by using our faith and walking in and with the Holy Ghost in all that Jesus bought and paid for second Corinthians chapter 5 for he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin we're talking about Jesus that we might be made the righteousness of God in him so Jesus was made sin for us Jesus was made sin for you oh so I can walk it no so now you can walk in his righteousness he took your sin so you could take his righteousness so is that just gonna be in heaven no that's now that's in the here and now Jesus took your sickness so you could walk in his health Jesus took your sin so you could walk in his righteousness what do we get to walk with we walk with the Holy Ghost in all that Jesus bought and paid for so we get to walk with the Holy Ghost in the righteousness that Jesus bought and paid for which means we let him take our sin away and we get to walk in righteousness for you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that though he was rich yet for your sakes he became poor or he became poverty that you through his poverty might be rich Jesus was made poor he took on poverty for you he took on your poverty see everything that Jesus took on himself in his substitutionary sacrifice was for you yet for your sakes he became poor that you through his poverty or becoming poverty might be rich substitutionary sacrifice Jesus took on himself poverty so that we could be free of poverty and what did he do he went about preaching the gospel to the poor what's the gospel to the poor that his your poverty is being taken away from you and you can walk in wealth. The society person walks in wealth having been delivered from poverty they walk with the Holy Ghost in wealth they walk with the Holy Ghost in everything that Jesus bought and paid for through his substitutionary sacrifice what are some other things we walk free from sin with the Holy Ghost we walk free from all sickness with the Holy Ghost fulfilling what Jesus had said already fulfilled we get to fulfill it we get to walk in the fulfillment of it how do we do that by walking with the Holy Ghost see heaven is our future we're going there but we have to live like that you don't all of a sudden as you're being translated into heaven have the price get paid Jesus already paid the price as Holy Ghost people as society people we walk in all that Jesus bought and paid for which pleases the Father which pleases Jesus and obviously pleases the Holy Ghost because he's the one trying to get you to walk that way and he's the one who's helping you and leading you he's the one who brought you to this webcast so you can listen to me tell you what you need to do and it all begins with Holy Ghost worship and then receiving all that Jesus bought and paid for so here the promise is the Holy Ghost you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost how do we walk with him we walk with him in all of the things that Jesus bought and paid for we're walking with Jesus no you're not walking with Jesus you're walking with the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today in 
all that Jesus bought and paid for and see this is the one of the reasons for this webcast is because every we you mean you need to keep this before you consistently it's acknowledging that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and I worship him he is the promise who's the promise the Holy Ghost is the promise we walk with him the Holy Ghost by saying words what words what words do I say you say the promise you say what Jesus bought and paid for and when you say those words what words the words the words I just read uh, Matthew 8 17 2 Corinthians 5 21 2 Corinthians 8 9 when you say those words you're walking with the Holy Ghost in the fulfillment of the promises that Jesus bought and paid for and we walk with the Holy Ghost in it because we walk with the Holy Ghost by saying words I mean that was a mouthful but what words are we saying we're saying the promises he is the promise so when I say the promise I'm walking with the Holy Ghost the society person receives and walks with the Holy Ghost in all that Jesus bought and paid for by and through his substitutionary sacrifice is this making sense yes I need to receive Jesus no you need to receive what Jesus bought and paid for and you walk with the Holy Ghost in those things how do you walk with the Holy Ghost by saying words by saying what words by saying those words the things that Jesus bought and paid for by Jesus stripes I'm healed himself took my infirmities and bare my sicknesses he was made sin for me that I that, who knew no sin that I would be made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus when I'm saying those things I'm walking with the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today and I'm walking with him in the earth with him that also enables him to bring it to pass I don't know if I really have much time to get into that today because I'm really trying to stress one thing but as we as we walk with him in those things he's able to bring those to pass who brings them to pass the promise brings them to pass he's the promise we become manifest in the earth as God's sons and daughters that's called the manifest sons of God how does that happen by walking with the Holy Ghost in all that Jesus bought and paid for by declaring decreeing and confessing those promises this pleases God this is God's method this is God's plan this is how you walk with God the Holy Ghost who is the promise in the earth today Jesus bought it and we fulfill it how do we fulfill it by walking with the Holy Ghost in the complete fulfillment as God's manifest sons and daughters in the earth by de by declaring and decreeing his promises that's how we walk with the Holy Ghost well thank you for joining us today this is just enough to give you uh, some more food some things that you can begin to metabolize in yourself so that you can grow up straight and be healthy and prosperous and anointed and powerful in the things of the Spirit of God because remember the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we walk with him by saying words God bless you and have a wonderful rest of the week